everybody, it's Mr. Ryan. Good to see you all. Hope everybody's doing good at home, social distancing, and having fun with that. Um, I figured since we didn't get out much that I would put up this cool background behind us that you see here. And we can do a little painting today. So I want to paint like one of my favorite painters, Bob Ross. If you don't know who Bob Ross is, he looks like this. All right. And so what I'm going to do is show you how to do a Bob Ross painting at home, only using a few different shapes. So what you need is some paints. I only got a few paints here, just blue, yellow, red. There's some green and a little black. You can use whatever kind of paints you have at home. If you got purple, pink, and whatever else, use that to paint your picture, okay? Because it's up to you and to be as creative as you want to be. So the first thing I'm going to do is start out with a square. So I'm going to take some red paint here. And I'm just going to paint a little square house here. All right. Now you can come up with a story for your house if you want. This little house was built in the woods by a band of aliens so that they could come and have a summer vacation home every year. All right. So there's my story. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this house a blue roof. So I'm going to actually mix a little bit of my red and my blue together. And then I'm just going to put a triangle on for my roof. All right, so we use two shapes, used a square and a triangle. We already have a house, right? Pretty cool. All right, I'm going to wash my brush off. I'm going to get a little bit more red. And then I'm going to put a little chimney on my house like this. Now, what do you think this house is missing? That's right, it's missing a door. So I'll just take my brush whoop, and I give it a door just like that. Okay, it's probably also missing a window. So we'll put a little square window in just like this. All right, very good. Got our window, got our door. Now what else do we need? So I know, we need a sky. So I'm gonna get some water in my blue, and I'm just gonna make some blue marks across the top just like this, okay? Just like a happy little sky up into the top. Just like this, okay? We'll make it come all the way down to the top of where my house is here. Just like this. Okay, time for some more shapes. So we wanna put in some trees. Now think really hard. When you look at your Christmas tree, what shape is it? It's not a rectangle, right? Not a circle unless you found a really cool Christmas tree somewhere. It's a triangle. So we're gonna get some green paint and I'm gonna make a green triangle, just like this for the very top of my tree. Then I'm gonna make another bigger triangle below it, just like this. A little more paint, and an even bigger triangle down at the bottom, just like this. All right, I'm gonna brush my brush off in the water here, get a little black, and we'll put just a little tree trunk whoop, down at the bottom like this. All right. Now, if you get really good at painting trees and you want to do them differently, you can get some green and just make trees like this to the side. See how simple that is? Really, really easy to practice. And then again with your black, shoop, there's your tree trunk, okay? So you can make a bunch of trees on your painting. Now, what I want to do is I want to add a sun. So I'm going to get the color that's best to use for the sun. Let's see. Is that black? No. Green? No. What about yellow? Yes, yellow is the best color. Very good. So I'm going to get some yellow here. I'm going to put a circle sun in right here, hiding behind the tree. And it's okay that there's a little blue mixed in there. Just like this. All right, so we have circles, triangles, square, rectangle for the door and for the chimney. And if I want to put some rays on my sun, I can even put a little triangle ray like this coming down. Rays are the little things that shine off the sun, not the favorite character from Star Wars. It's a different kind of ray. All right, so we'll put them just like this. So now we have our painting, just using shapes. You guys see how easy that is? So if you're at home and you're bored, get yourself a piece of paper, get yourself some paints, ask mom and dad first, and then paint yourself an awesome picture like this. But you know what? We didn't finish the story, right? Because we're missing something very important. So I'm gonna add something that's not a shape. 
I'm going to add myself a UFO right here. Remember, these were the aliens visiting. So here's the top of it. Here's the landing feet, just like this. <laughs> there is my alien coming to visit home. In fact, we can even probably take our brush and throw in a little green alien right here. Just like this, waving hi to everybody. Hello. All right, so here's my alien. Here's my picture using all shapes. I want you guys to try it and then post your pictures. You can post them right here on the comment section so that we can see what you guys made at home, okay? Maybe you guys can even drop them off and we can hang them up around the school, okay? Thanks a lot for watching the video. There'll be more to come. Please comment or like or whatever you want to do and have a lot of fun. Till next time, not only science on, but art on. And I'll see you guys very soon.